All right. Oh, come on. All right. It's Sunday night. Let's go. It's time to praise him and worship him. Now get started. Let's get started with that wonderful song. Jesus is alive. He's, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will
it says I was glad it doesn't say when I was mad or I was sad you don't look like you're too glad tonight I'm glad I'm in the house of the Lord tonight now let's sing this thing like we really believe it now all right come on let's go well I started shouting when they said unto me I started shouting when they said unto me I started shouting when they said unto me come let us go go into the house of the Lord I started clapping when they said oh yes I did I started clapping when they said unto me ah, I started shouting when they said unto me Go into the house of the Lord. I started dancing unto me. I started dancing with me. Oh, glory. I started dancing. Oh, yes, I let us go into the house of the Lord. I started singing when they said unto me. I started singing. Oh, yeah. I started singing. They said, come let us go to the house of Yes, I was glad when they said, oh, yeah. When they said unto me, oh, when they said, come let us go to the house of the Lord. Why don't you be glad and magnify the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Go ahead and praise Him tonight. Go ahead and praise Him. We're going to praise the Lord. We came to shout. We came to give Him glory. Let's ramp it up a little bit. You know what we're here to sing, and let's do it. You've got to move. You've got to move. You've got to move. You've got to move. Oh, when the Lord is ready, you've got to move. 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 Oh, it's a fool. Come on. 
following the Lord. Yes, but you got to move. You got to move. God's going to move. God's going to move. God's going to move. God's going to move. Where we go? Start dancing. God's going to move. 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 Where we go? Start preaching. God's going to move. God's going to move. Oh, Zechariah, by God's grace, he told that mountain, get out of my face. Oh, when the Lord gets fed, you got to move. You've got to move. Oh, King David, when he did things right, then he could dance with all his might. Oh, when the Lord gets fed. in the house of the Lord. You know exactly how to let the power of God come down. Go ahead and praise Him. Jesus, we worship You. Hallelujah. Yes. What do you do right here? <laughs> what do you do right here? Go ahead and praise Him. But just thank Him for that goodness. Just let him move. Yes. 
Now maybe sing it this time without so much shouting. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. When we all start believing, He's gonna move. He's gonna move. God's gonna save. God's gonna save. God's gonna save. He's gonna save. When we all start praying, He's gonna save. He's gonna save. He'll fill with the Holy Ghost. Fill with the Holy Ghost. He'll fill with the Holy Ghost. He'll fill with the Holy Ghost. When we all start praising, He'll fill with the Holy Ghost and He'll do it tonight. Go ahead and take it. Jesus, thank you so much. All right. Praise God. Okay. All right, you may be seated. Let's receive the offering. Who knows what all God is going to do tonight? Who knows? There's no limit to how the power of God can come down. We've had services, and, and we talk about them, but let's have one. When in that, when we just shout the glory down, when the Holy Ghost is moving, and suddenly you feel the waves of God just coming down, and everybody gets in, even on the back row. And they start running forward. They said, there's a fire burning. i got to get close to it. Brother said to me this morning, he said, I sat down front, and I could finally hear right. I said, the closer you get to the fire, the warmer it gets. And he said, oh, that's what I need. And that's what we all need tonight. To have a baptism of the fire of God. He's here to bless and move tonight. All right, let's receive the offering and tithe. Brother, if you pray. him stand and praise him and let the worship of God just stir your soul let's give God the glory tonight wandering into the Wanting a place to hide this weary soul This vagabond I 
try with all my mind But I just can't win the fight I'm slowly drifting Oh, there I go But to believe my doubts are burning Like ashes in the wind So, so long to my own friends Burning and bitterness You can just keep me moving Now nah, you ain't welcome here From now till I walk the streets of gold
we will proclaim all of the glory to your name. We will sing out, we will proclaim all of the glory to your name. We will sing out, we will sing out. change the order of the service, you know, and turn it to something dark and depressing, but, okay, <laughs> so here we go, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. 
Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. And know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Praise God. Preaching to you tonight on a grand entrance. A grand entrance is when you enter a place and make your presence known with pomp and great effect. Like the day I walked to a Starbucks in Seattle. And a man sitting at a table with his beautiful woman looked at me with a condescending glance. And I looked back at him with a condescending glance. And I walked to the door and smashed into the door and saw that it said pull. It was a grand entrance. Or the time that I decided to do a wheelie to impress two girls walking to school and the bike flew out from under me and I landed spread eagle on my back in the street. And how about the man I knew that ran through the house screaming, the pigs are outside! And then he saw the policeman standing in the door. A grand entrance. One of the most epic is when I was horsing around at the doors at a grocery store and I slipped on the wet concrete and went backwards through the plate glass door right in front of everyone. What a grand entrance. Not. But when we enter the house of God, we should make a real grand entrance. And that's what he said in the text this evening. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. First he said, enter into his gates. This is like under the gates of an ancient city. And finally, the gates that are upon the temple. In particular was the gate they called beautiful. The eastern gate of the old city of Jerusalem is mentioned in Acts chapter 3. And it said, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Of all the gates... This one was called beautiful, meaning wonderfully ornamental. But then there was the ugly side of it, which was the broken life of one poor man who could not walk and had never walked in his life. He sat daily outside the temple gate called beautiful, hoping that someone would help him financially. The most beautiful thing, that's the ugly side, but the most beautiful thing was not the gate. The most beautiful thing was when the men of God came by that day and this man asked them for an offering. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him and with John and he said, look on us. He gave heed to them expecting to receive something from them. And Peter said, we don't have any silver for you. We don't have any gold for you. But what I have, I will give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And for the first time in his life, this man leaped up and he began to walk around. And so he decided, I'm going to enter the gate. He entered the gates with thanksgiving in his heart. And then after that, he entered into the court with praise. That's the next part, entering into the courts. Now the healed man is in the court of God's temple. He's leaping, he's shouting, he's dancing, he's running, he's spinning around, he's rejoicing because God has done a work in his life. And when I see those of you, and God bless you, you don't have to join us in praise, but there's a reason that you don't. 
you haven't been scraped up off the bottom yet. And if you're living a life where you can't praise God, trust me, you will hit the bottom eventually. But as for us who are here that have touched the hand of God and God has raised us up and given us the strength, we will rejoice. We will be glad in him. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will be glad and we will rejoice and we will shout with a shout of victory. Amen. This here indicates... This indicates a pathway of praise. A man who cannot walk has no interest in pathways. But when the Holy Ghost touched that man and healed his legs, he leaped up, stood, walked, praised, ran, entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God, verse 8 said. He entered the gate. Then he entered the court, and if you would notice, this is about entering into the court of a king to make a request. These are the terms used by David. It's about going into the temple and inquiring of the king of kings and the lord of lords. And when we pray, we are entering into the presence of God. That's why we say, Father, I come before you. I have come into your house tonight. I passed through the gate that is out at the wall. Don't you like our new gate out there? It's so nice. And I entered that gate with thanksgiving, came onto the campus and entered the courts with praise. And now we're here in the house of the Lord and we've been healed, we've been saved, we've been delivered, we've been filled with the Holy Ghost. We have every reason in the world to shout and to give glory to his name. The world doesn't understand why we're like this. They don't understand why we rejoice and why we dance and why we get excited because we have God on the inside. And brother, if you don't ever get excited, you need something inside you because God is exciting. Amen. We entered into the innermost sanctuary. Did you enter tonight with praises toward God? Was praise on your mind when you came in the door? When you know God and you're connected with God, praise is what you do. Because His goodness has filled our mouths with glorious praise to His mighty name every day. Listen to what the psalm in number 66 said. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. That means this isn't going to cut it. Make his praise glorious. That means you open up your mouth and you tell God out loud where everybody can hear you just how great and glorious he is. Psalm 66 verse 8, he said, Oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Let somebody hear you tonight telling God, God, you are mighty. God, you are awesome. You are good all the time. Woo, glory. And I'm stopping right here. Last verse of the night. Come on to the instruments. Get ready. We'll sing some more. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord. Listen, David's teaching you how to praise God right here. He said, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thine hand is power and might 
And in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. That's how you praise God. Amen. And when you're a Christian, your arms are on springs. Praise the Lord. I come in the gate. Thank you, Jesus. I come into the courts of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lamb of God, for saving my soul. I want you to know tonight, it's time to get your praise on. If you got battles and you have struggles, get your praise on. You start praising God and you start worshiping Him with your lips, not just your fingertips holding the pews down. But when you start lifting up your voice and magnifying Him, He will come to you. The Bible said He inhabits the praises of His saints. So if you want God to move tonight in your life, start praising Him. Think of every good compliment that you can give Him and give thanks unto His name tonight. As we come to the end of this service, Lord, You are greatly to be praised. Thine is the glory and the power and the greatness and the majesty and the honor forever and ever for all things are yours. We honor you and magnify your name tonight. We're not here to confess sins right now. You've already forgiven our sins. We're here to thank you for that forgiveness and for that redemption. We're here to thank you that Jesus died so that we could be free. Hell lost another one. Hallelujah. And we are free. All right.
we get to heaven, we're going to be in trouble. You know why? Because up there, don't if you don't like this, don't go. Up there is 24/7 church. He's good all the time, and they have church all the time, singing holy, holy, holy. Now this, what is that song? What does that say, Reverend Malone? This, go sing one more song. I will lift up your name. It says, with driving energy. So if you sing this with us tonight, it will give you energy to drive home. You'll have driving energy. Oh God, give us driving energy. Now you may collapse when you get home, but burn some calories tonight for the Lord. It's an awesome song. I love this song. What could be better than lifting up the name of Jesus Christ? That's what we want to do.
Thank you for that name of Jesus that's above every name that is named in heaven and in earth. And we thank you for the power that it holds, Heavenly Father. For in his name, we have all the blessings of God and the promises of God. We worship you and thank you now, majestic King. We look forward to the next time we gather in this tabernacle. We'll enter your gates with thanksgiving. Walk into these courts with praise already on our lips. Amen, amen, and amen. One for the Father, one for the Holy Ghost, and one for Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hey, we'll see you. God bless you is our prayer. Now, uh, there'll be something tomorrow night, maybe. So students, watch that calendar. Watch that calendar. I'll figure out in the morning. I'm supposed to have uh, a meeting with the people. We're going to have a student service pretty soon, right here. And you'll have a few weeks advance notice, but right now they're getting it all together. We're looking forward to having a really special service with them. So they're working and practicing, and iron is sharpening iron. <laughs> God bless you, and we'll see you next time I see you, if I see you before that, then I'll see you then. But if not, I'll see you the next time that I don't see you. Okay? Deal? God bless you. All right. Don't forget Bible study Tuesday night at 7.30.